This game brings in more than $30 million a year. It's big business for the city of Jacksonville, and the contract that keeps that game here in Jacksonville ends next season. So right now, Mayor Lenny Curry and other city officials are working with the two schools to try to make a deal so that that game, one of the best rivalries in college football, stays right here. If there's something that's part of Americana, this is a part of Jacksonville Cana. For more than 80 years, the Florida Georgia game has called Jacksonville home. This is home. This is home for this game. It's where it belongs. It's where it needs to stay. The tradition, the tailgates, it's all here. It doesn't matter what colors you wear, the ugly red and black, or the pretty orange and blue. When we meet up, it's all family when we come down here. But this year, what's more important than who wins on the field is who wins behind closed doors. Obviously, is the important game. Rick Catlett, president of the Jacksonville Sports Council, says because this year's mayoral election fell around the time of negotiations, he believes it was not a priority for the former mayor who was running for re-election. The city would have normally started negotiations last year and probably had it done by this time. Dave Harrell with the city says right now time is of the essence because the contract ends at the end of next year's game. We've been meeting for weeks and weeks and months and months. A new football stadium is being built in Atlanta for the Falcons. We asked them if they were interested in trying to move the game there. They told First Coast News, quote, we are always interested in attracting events that have local, regional, national, and international significance. And the Georgia-Florida game would fall into that category. Whether or not this is a possibility is premature and unknown at this time. We are uh, starting the process. With Dave Harrell with the city says they are going to do everything they can to make sure the game stays in Jacksonville. It's really kind of a treasured asset for us. So obviously there are going to be other markets that have interest. There has been some concern over seating issues when it comes to the future of Everbank Stadium. The Jacks plan to make more renovations, including removing seats. The city is contractually obligated to provide more than 82,000 seats, and Catlett says he knows the city will come through on that promise. The Jaguars in the city will be able to work it out so that there is no change in seating capacity. That's the one thing the schools are requiring is that there's no change in seating capacity. We reached out to both the University of Florida and the University of Georgia for a comment. We are still awaiting their response. For Live Downtown, Stephen Dial, First Coast News, NBC 12, ABC 25.